Welcome to Roanoke County Business Partners. On today's show, we meet with Donnie Martin of Magnets USA to learn about their participation in the Virginia Leaders in Export Trade Program and the Virginia Jobs Investment Program. We also speak with Pete Peters, Assistant Town Manager and Director of Economic Development for the Town of Benton, to learn about the efforts to redevelop the former Gish's Mill property. Finally, we attend the grand opening of Total U Health, which is a business that participated in the Gauntlet Business Plan Competition, so we can learn about their health care service that is a first of its kind in the Roanoke Valley. We're at Magnets USA in Benton, and with me I have Donnie Martin, the COO of Magnets. And Magnets has been doing a lot of great things lately. They've participated in the ballet program, which is Virginia Leaders in Export Trade. It's a program through the State um, International Trade Division. And so Donnie's going to tell us about that program and then also tell us about some of the exciting uh, retraining that they're doing. Thanks for joining us. It's good to be here. So you participated in the valet program, as we call it for short. Um, that program is um, to help you all expand your trade options, um, really grow, and it's a two-year program, right? Correct. Uh, it was really an honor to be selected because two years ago, uh, they selected us and one other company uh, in the Roanoke Valley to participate, and that was a really neat opportunity for us. And then what are some of the things that you get out of that two-year program? Well. Uh, some expected and some unexpected. Uh, really one of the cool things that you find right away is that uh, because it is a state of Virginia sponsored program, you uh, get introduced to some amazing companies within the state of Virginia who are like-minded. So you get an opportunity to network and, and connect with uh, like-minded business leaders and uh, folks who are trying to establish uh, more of a global presence. Um, so for us, that was uh, really neat and, and somewhat unexpected. Uh, the other side is, is that the state of Virginia, uh, the people they have placed in this program are experts. Uh, we had great support and learned so much from the leadership and the folks that uh, are a part of that. They understand international uh, trade and are able to point you in a direction and guide you uh, through a curriculum that is uh, really cool. Uh, another uh, neat part of it is the partners that they bring in. Um, we received expert uh, advice from CPAs at really no additional cost to us uh, who were knowledgeable about some of the ins and outs of trade, logistics, uh, so many other pieces of information that we had that for a small business to start looking at uh, doing any kind of trade um, is kind of intimidating and they were able just to uh, walk us through, answer any questions and guide us through that part. Uh, another unexpected benefit is uh, we brought in a couple of uh, key uh, employees in the business and had them participate with me uh, in the program and it really helped them to connect and also network as well as present our company uh, on a new stage and uh, that was really neat to watch them grow the process as well. Um, finally, the, the best part about it, if not, maybe not the best, but one of the nicest parts about it is uh, some of the supports through funds that we received. Uh, that really helped us to uh, evaluate um, our Canadian partnerships that we have, uh, the markets we're serving, uh, do some analysis there, found uh, a new market that we're uh, considering, uh, and, and also analyze our distribution partners and other things that we're currently doing and to do it better, uh, as well as offset a lot of the logistics costs that we've uh, encountered in trying to uh, ship and trade uh, through Canada. So um, just a, a wealth of opportunity and different things that we uh, gain through the program. I know we always get a lot of really positive feedback about the program. Like you said, there's a lot of opportunity that you get to just exposure to different people and expertise and that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. that's really great to have. And then additionally, you all are um, instituting some new technology. Um, you all are gonna be working with the state for the VGIP program, um, which is the Virginia Jobs Investment Program. So you're gonna be doing some retraining for some of your current employees for new equipment. What kind of equipment are you doing? What, what are your upgrades? What's going on? Well, before I get into all that, the <laughs> Virginia Economic Development Program that the state does Roanoke County and the town of Venton are so wonderful for a small business. We go up against so many challenges uh, just from uh, 
you know, whether it be uh, trying to hire the right people, put them in the right jobs, whether it be just doing business day to day, navigating uh, you know, your, your tax challenges and everything else that's out there. And these guys have really been proactive, reaching out to us, guiding us, and, and partnering with us. And it's so neat uh, to have such a government-friendly or business-friendly government uh, resource. Um, the, the jobs program in particular has been nice uh, because we have really uh, come to the realization without modernization of our, uh, our, our lines, our equipment, uh, the software that we use, uh, that um, we're not going to be able to uh, help and support our customers at the level that we want and grow. So uh, we've done that and we've started uh, investing a lot of capital uh, in uh, our uh, enterprise uh, resource planning systems, uh, our automation systems for our equipment. Um, we've built and made a lot of custom equipment and are doing more. Uh, I'm really excited about that, but with that, there's a, there's a huge challenge in training. And that's where uh, the job investments programs have really helped us. Uh, it, it's, um, it, you know, there's an hourly rate or salary that you pay an employee. And then there's a training cost and all these other costs that people for, sometimes don't see uh, at the, in, until you're actually paying your bills. And to get some of the support that we're getting from the job investments program has taken some sting out of that and made it uh, better for us to, uh, to, to look at the growth that we're trying to uh, create through uh, automation of equipment and, and training our staff that we currently have and bringing in new staff. Um, so those funds have been really nice as well as some of the workforce uh, tools that they've been providing us as well. And then for our viewers who don't know, you all have a wide range of products and you, you serve customers locally and also nationally. Um, so I know you all do business cards, you do magnets, of course, you do all sorts of things. What are kind of some of the things our local companies might be interested in contacting you for? Well, that's the best question you've asked me this whole time. <laughs> uh, you know, our uh, calendars are, are famous. Um, we started those uh, many years ago and those magnetic calendars are one of the great, greatest promotional marketing materials that you can use uh, for the price. And then along that, uh, we have a wealth of other magnetics uh, that can be used for fundraising, uh, for your business promotion, um, you know, just a, a whole lineup, which all can be seen at magnetsusa.com. And then we also have a, a promotional gift line. Uh, it's a, a higher end gift line that's unique to us. They're custom made products that uh, could be a, a cutlery gift that's branded with a business's information that they can give uh, for if there was somebody who gave a referral or a client gift or uh, any of those types of things as well as a, a myriad of other nice little what we call pop by gifts. They're really great to hand out to people. They come in these nice uh, packages and, and those products in themselves uh, have, have really uh, become a, an exciting part of our business and those can be seen at our, our website lifelonggifts.com. Great, so it sounds like there's lots of opportunities for business to interact with you all and um, we're so happy to have you in, in Roanoke County in the town of Vinton. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us. Is your business puzzled as to how you can attract, train, and most importantly retain workers? Are you looking to people who are committed to having a career and not just a job? The Virginia Registered Apprenticeship Program can help you solve this puzzle. The Virginia Registered Apprenticeship is a training system that produces highly skilled employees to meet the demands of employers through a combination of on-the-job training and classroom instruction. The program can be customized to meet the needs of most any business in all occupations. The Virginia Registered Apprenticeship Program currently meets the needs of approximately 2,000 employers throughout Virginia, and your business can participate in the program too. To get started on solving your employment puzzle, contact Diana Lyons, Apprenticeship Consultant for the Department of Labor and Industry, Commonwealth of Virginia. We're at Gish's Mill in Vinton, and with me I have Pete Peters, the Assistant Town Manager and Director of Economic Development. And 
right now the town is going through a lot of changes. There's lots of redevelopment going on, for example. Right across the street we have Williamburg High School, which is going to be converted into apartments later this year. Yes. And then I know Roland Cook was just converted into apartment, which was another old school. And then next kind of on your list of would like to haves is this Gish's Mill for it to be redevelopment. What What's going on with that project? Well, Gish's Mill is uh, the, actually the founding structure of the town of Vinton. So Gish's Mill, at one point, Vinton was called that. And so this was kind of a centerpiece of uh, kind of economy in, in, this, in this community. So the town purchased the property about two years ago with the intent of hopefully redeveloping it. And then what types of um, activities have you all been doing to kind of get this property ready to, ready to go? Yeah, well, we actually got a grant from the state to do environmental phase one and two studies. So we're currently wrapping up that process. We've also hired a local consultant to do some conceptual feasibility study for the property mm -hmm. so that we could see what actually could um, be housed in this facility. So we packaged that out and we're, um, we've actually issued a request for proposals to, to inquire um, local developers to uh, hopefully um, provide some ideas of what they might uh, think the property could be used for. And then there's a lot of other things that you all are trying to get going in the town. I know the Vinton Motors property has been issued an RFP um, and there's some activity going on there. And then there's also talks about a hotel. Um, what What is going on with that? And what can people expect well, to hear? That project's been going on for a couple of years, so we hired a consultant to do a, a market study for us to see what our community could sustain w w within the hospitality sector. And so our next step is to issue a request for proposals for hotel operators, developers to uh, potentially consider different uh, locations within the town to construct a hotel and operate one. And that's something that Vinton, Vinton needs, and the assessment, like you said, has been done. So mm -hmm. um, that's, that'll be an RFP that hopefully will get lots of responses that I know everybody in the town will be anxious to hear about. Yes, indeed. And then the other property that's also up for redevelopment is the dairy barn out in the Vin Vinton Business Center, which I know there's been talks of a microbrewery, or that one has a lot of potential, too. Yeah, that's a really cool property. It, it, it is uh, uh, the original dairy barn for that farm back before it became a business center. And so that, that project, we've worked with Roanoke County to uh, create a conceptual plan for that site. And um, so that, that property is currently available as well. Um, if businesses are interested in finding out more about these opportunities in the town of Vinton, how would they, would they just contact you? Yeah, I'm loca located in the town municipal building. My phone number is 540-343-1508. Great, thanks so much, Pete. And thank you all for joining us. Support your local farmers, growers, and craftsmen by visiting the Catawba Valley Farmers Market. Most products at the market are grown or baked within a 10 mile radius, which means you get fresh produce and baked items. Items you can find at the Catawba Valley Farmers Market include meats, seasonal fruits and vegetables, baked goods, eggs, jams, hanging baskets, potted plants, and local handmade arts and crafts. The market is held every Thursday from 3.30 to 7 p.m. mid-May through mid-October at the Catawba Community Center on Catawba Creek Road. The market is a collaborative project between the Virginia Tech Catawba Sustainability Center, Roanoke County, and Catawba Valley Ruiting Club and the local community. I'm with Linda Bailey, the owner of Total U Health. It is a brand new business, very unique business here in Roanoke County. They also participated in the Gauntlet Business Plan Contest, and we're here to learn a little bit about what she offers. Linda, can you tell us what your business is, how you came up with the idea? Sure. So the business is all about photobiomodulation therapy, and it's essentially light therapy. Um, it uses red LED and infrared light to reduce total body oxidative stress. And the reason that's important is because um, oxidative stress has been shown to have a link to many human diseases such as fibromyalgia, arthritis, even cancer now has a link to oxidative stress. And oxidative stress um, happens because of the toxins in our environment through the food, water, and air that we breathe. Um, they bind with the material in our cells and it actually crowds out oxygen from our cells and our cells need that oxygen to make the energy that our body needs. So um, reducing that is of utmost importance. Gotcha. So when somebody comes in here for a treatment, what can they expect to happen? 
So the first treatment, um, they would come in, have a free consultation. We would go over their medical history and determine from that how long they should treat for their first session. If they do not have something chronic, typically that's a 15 or 20 minute treatment. 20 minutes would always be the max that somebody would treat. Um, and it's just a comfortable bed. It looks like a tanning bed, but it does not have the harmful UV rays. It again has the red LED and infrared light, and they just lay in the bed and um, pull the top down as low as they're comfortable with, and within 15, 20 minutes, they're done. It's a warm um, treatment. It's not hot, um, and it's very relaxing. I have people fall asleep in it sometimes. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So um, I think this is a totally unique business, uh, totally unique uh -huh. treatment. Um, you have had some personal uh, experience with this as it's helped your daughter who, who had uh, chronic migraine headaches and it's helped her. So you, you feel this really works. So this is people fibromyalgia and also just people who want to increase their sports performance. Correct. So, yeah, anything from fibromyalgia, arthritis, um, migraines. There's also um, a component where we would treat PTSD, anxiety, depression, and then, as you said, the sports performance improvement. So, um, if right after a strenuous workout, we have a lot of inflammation and swelling. We also have micro tears in the muscle. This helps repair and reduce that inflammation quickly so that people can get back to what they're doing and not have you know a couple days that they have to lay off their sport. Great. Well, if you would like to try this therapy or learn more, you can visit uh, Total U Health at the address at the bottom of the screen or give them a call or visit their website. They're located right here off of Starkey in Southwest County. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us for Roanoke County Business Partners. If you have any questions about this show, want to start a business, or need business assistance, please contact the Roanoke County Economic Development Office at 540-772-2069 or email jbrenchick at roanokecountyva.gov and you can always visit our website at yesroanoke.org.